Where does DeAndre Hopkins take his services after being released by the Cardinals? You know there's a lot of teams out there and fan bases that want him. New York Post NFL reporter Ryan Dunleavy is on the line to talk about how Hopkins could possibly, keyword possibly, end up in New York rocking green or blue. Ryan, thanks for joining us. I uh, read the article in your words. He said, let the courtship begin. Joe Douglas already got Aaron Rodgers to New York, and I know he wasn't on D-Hop's list of top five quarterbacks that he said he wants to play for, but do you think that he could be persuaded to come to New York but rock green? Yeah, absolutely. I think the, they're probably one of the dark horse teams here, uh, Brandon. That Look, they had Odell Beckham in mind. He was going to come visit before he signed with the Ravens. I think – uh, SNY's Connor Hughes reported that Odell even gave the Jets a chance to match the Ravens offer. So I think he got 18 million or 15 million with 18 million in incentives from the Ravens. So the Jets were probably in the 12, $13 million range for Beckham. So you got to think they have that money earmarked aside. Maybe that goes that maybe they can make a strong one year offer for DeAndre Hopkins, uh, especially after they finish re uh, negotiating Rogers contract. The idea of playing with Rogers is certainly appealing to receivers. If it was appealing to Beckham, it'll be appealing to Hopkins. Uh, the chance to chase a championship and make money. Not many teams can offer both at this stage of the offseason. Gang Green just heard that and they're ready to impersonate Jim Carrey and be like, so you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the Giants. They were looking for wide receiver one when the offseason started. They ended up signing Darren Waller. He's a TE one, but uh, the Giants receiver core, it's, it's you like them, you don't love them. So does making a run at Hopkins make sense at this point? Yeah, I think at this point being the key word there, Brandon, I think timing is everything. If this was March, I think, sure, absolutely. I just think that right now the Giants have kind of built their offense and their roster around an idea of Darren Waller as the top pass catcher with all these slot receivers, whether it's Shepard, Wandale, Paris Campbell, Jalen Hyatt, uh, all these fast, shifty guys around Waller. That, uh, yeah, obviously Hopkins would be an upgrade. He'd be their instant wide receiver one. What it would take money-wise doesn't really fit where they are salary cap-wise. And like I said, even though his skills are different than everybody else's, they have probably their deepest wide receiver core that they've had since Odell Beckham. So it's not a huge need the way the Giants have other needs to spend their money on like linebacker or guard if somebody of Hopkins ilk was to pop up at one of those positions. Yeah, and Daniel Jones has never had a true number one on that edge. Just think of how his growth can continue just having a guy he can get that ball to. Uh, Ryan has more teams on his article, but you guys got to check out NewYorkPost.com slash sports. Make sure you read that, see the other teams on there. Ryan, thanks for joining us. Have a great Memorial Day weekend, my man.